I spent the weekend unplugging. And I wish, uh, I encourage everybody out there to do the same. I think it's important. I'm going to start doing that as we get closer to the election. I think it's important to unplug. And I haven't been, I have not been doing that, to be honest. I've been stayed glued to my uh, phone and my devices. And it's a bad habit of mine and uh, shouldn't, it shouldn't be uh, this bad. So I, I decided this weekend, hey, I, I, I got to get away. I got to get out of here. I got to, I got to get out of the matrix. Um, and I did something I never do, and I sat down and I watched several movies. I don't usually do that. It's not, it's not something I do. I, I, uh, don't usually, uh, I mean, I am subscribed to all these platforms like this. I, I mean, I have Hulu, I have Netflix just in case, you know, a couple times a month I want to sit down and watch something. Like there's that new, uh, there's a new show that's coming on Netflix um, in a couple days. Actually, uh, it's called Territory. It has uh, that guy from I can't remember his name, but he was in uh, Longmire, and Longmire's like one of the best shows on Netflix. Like it's I think it's better than Yellowstone actually, but it's kind of a Yellowstone type vibe. But he uh, they they went and made uh, he's from Australia. And they went and made uh, a Australia's, uh, their version of Yellowstone. So it's called Territory. And uh, I totally want to see that. It's, it looks like a good show. I, I kind of gave up on Yellowstone, to be honest. I, I don't really care what they are doing or if they're going to produce more episodes. I actually don't really give a shit, actually. Um, I'm done with the show. I'm, I'm done with the whole Tyler Sheridan and that drama. I'm done. I, I, I do actually want to see Landman. I think it's called Landman has Billy Bob Thornton. B- Billy Bob Thornton is a badass, dude. I fucking love he he, he did a show called uh, Goliath on Amazon if you haven't seen that. Such a good show. It's one of the many shows I, I I could actually get into. So many shows out there that I tried to watch, I'm like I just don't get it. I, I don't but like that show is badass. I do want to watch Landman, which is which is technically produced by uh Sheridan, but that's coming in a couple weeks or maybe a month or so. Uh, but anyway, over over the weekend, I did watch the the new movie or not the new movie. It, it's been out for a while, but uh, Blackberry. Have you seen Blackberry? It's a story of uh, how the the cell phone, the Blackberry, was developed, and I wasn't familiar with it. I I did have a Blackberry a uh, long long time ago, and. It was, uh, it's one of the first, I think it's the first smartphone and, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's why people, so many people are glued to these things right here is, is the Blackberry. Um, it kind of was, uh, my space before all these other, it's kind of like the, the, uh, social media, um, equivalent when you're comparing social media. It's kind of like MySpace, right? You know, before Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, MySpace was there. And then came Facebook and then came Instagram and then Twitter. Uh, and then TikTok, which is really bad. But uh, this movie, I love these types of movies, these true success stories. You know, I, I'm i a huge fan of, uh, or not a huge fan, but I, I, I love those types of movies of like, uh, you know, The Founder. We'll talk about McDonald's here in a second, but like, you know, the founder w- had Michael Keaton in it. He played Ray Kroc. And uh, I love those types of true uh, success stories. Uh, you know, they'd one about Apple. They made one about uh, Disney. They made one about uh, Facebook, the social network. They made, they made one about, you know, all these companies out there. But BlackBerry, I guess, they just got around to making it. And this was uh, a film that i mean the story happened in canada waterloo waterloo um canada and uh it was it's it was such a good movie so the movie starts out with these two friends mike loritas and douglas bergen uh they went in to pitch a businessman uh this business guy he worked for this company jim bazizel basil i think his name is uh, but they went in to pitch uh, what eventually turned into the BlackBerry. But at that time, this was in 96, uh, it was called the Pocket Link. And they went in to pitch uh, 
their prototype thing. And uh, Mike Laridas, he had some kind of learn. I think he was like ADHD or he had some kind of learning. He was like, he was like high functioning. Uh, maybe he wasn't. I, I don't even know. But it seemed like in the movie he had some kind of learning thing where he was like, like Asperger's or something. I don't know what he what he has, but he was really intelligent. I mean, he he made the fucking BlackBerry, right? Um, but there was a, like a it was an answering machine or some kind of device that was on the desk and it made some kind of ticking thing. And he he was waiting on this gym guy to show up to the meeting because he was they were pitching the 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 pocket link, and he fixed they fixed the the ticking thing because they were saying that the those products were made in China and it was low quality and um which is probably true. But uh this gym guy, he was running late. Uh he wasn't really paying attention to the meeting, the pitch when they got there. And he had to go on to his own meeting. He was he had a presentation with his own company and uh he got fired because uh, he exposed something that they didn't want him to expose, and uh, just watch the movie. It's it's a really crazy story. But anyway, this gym guy eventually, you know, because he got fired, he had nothing else better to do. He uh invested like a hundred thousand of his own dollars to this rim company, which he knew nothing about, and he went in there. And you know, I have a bad habit of watching movies and then trying to relate it to politics. And this made me think about the country. You know, this rim company in 96, it was Mike and his friend Doug with a bunch of other college kids, or maybe they they were just kids and they weren't productive at all. They weren't getting shit done. It was, the office was disorganized. They didn't even have a fax machine, which, uh, it ended up, um, uh, ended up figuring out in the movie that they thought they had a deal with this U.S. robotics company, and uh, they that company that they that they thought they had a deal with, they cut the deal off because they sent them defective um, devices. So I think I think they were they made pagers or answer machines or something. They they were uh, uh, let me just see. Uh, it doesn't say on here. But they thought they had this huge deal with this with this U.S. company, and uh, they they called the company and they said, "Hey, we sent you a fax like six months ago, saying the deal was off because the devices were defective." Anyway, so this company, this rim, before this gym guy came in, this gym guy came in and invested like hundred thousand dollars and mortgaged his house basically to get this company off the ground, and he saw something in this company and. I forgot to add this this Mike and Doug they were horrible at at their at marketing their product. They went in and the presentation was a disaster. And this gym guy, he's he was a business guy and he was kind of like the Ray Kroc in this where he went in and he 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 saw something and he made it what it what what it is and what it was. Um and he went into this business, which was a disaster. It was like there were shit. It was shit everywhere, piles of stuff. It was, they didn't even have a secretary. Like, it was just bad. They were playing video games. They had movie nights. They had pizza. They, it was just a horrible, uh, it wasn't even a business. It was just like a frat party type thing. And I kind of equate Jim and this to Trump because, what I hope happens in January is Trump goes in there and cleans house. And in this movie, Jim, this guy go, you know, went into this business and said, listen here, motherfuckers, this is how it's going to be done. And he went in and just like cracked the whip on these, on these two kids. They, and like fired a bunch of people and said, Hey, like, so anyway, it, it's, it's such a great movie. And, uh, Jim it, it eventually ended up, uh, getting in trouble with like the f- government because he basically uh, promised people stock options that wasn't fair and wasn't accurate or whatever. And uh, 
I'm not going to ruin the movie for you, but uh, Blackberry, such a great movie, such a great, um, just such a good movie. I just, I just thought it was really good, and there's probably some things in the movie that didn't uh, reflect reality, but that those are just movies, right? 